Ibo Area TV. On on hello viewers, how on a day? Hmm, for waiting I day here. I thought people should let this matter die down on its own. Let's stop adding fuel to fire. The recent NSAS non protest was just a youth protest and nothing else. I still maintain that it has no ethnic coloration. Don't even bring that. At the same time, I am advising people at positions to mind what they say, especially in such times. Still on answers, Nam they kind of told supporters to attack um, police stations, according to Deji Adenyaju. He alleged he's an activist. Deji Adenyaju accused uh, the IPOB leader against attacking policemen and destroying their stations. He made the allegation on his social media that was on Sunday. And based on Daily Post reports, the men of the Nigerian police force were killed as many stations were burned and arms were cutted away during the NSAS protest. According to Adenya, um, Kano had told his supporters to attack the police and that he has also asked them to burn down their stations. Adenya opined that. Um, Nonviolent resistance would always work, saying, however, that the police should put an end to extrajudicial killing. Well, Adeyaju, I don't think you should raise this issue. We are done with that. That is why I made the comment I made at first. Well, but we still need to talk on uh, um, what came with the wind of the NSAS protest. Nollywood actress in love with IPOB leader. Yes, um, Nollywood at Chiamaka Mokeuku has declared her undying love for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, that is Mazen Namdekano. She made her heartfelt declaration um, for Namdekano on her Instagram page at the height of the NSAS protest, uh, which recently swept across uh, many states of the nation. Yeah. An actress um, declared her undying love. The actress wrote on her page, I respect Mazen Namdekano. If you know, you know. What with 100% emoji to back her emotions. In less than no time, she dropped the note on her page. Her page was flooded with different colors of uh, comments from comments. Some were in agreement, while some were in disagreement. One queen, um, Endalin, was straight to the point by writing, "I love you, but this is a no-no." What set on uh, in the minds of what an American set on in the mind of um, the hoodlums breaking and destroying properties in Onisha in the name of Biafra? According to this, um, somebody who replied, he said, Let's call a spade a spade. Destroying properties we built were with our money, burning police stations, and you know, taking all the guns. The citizens are scared. This is not a tribal war, but a fight to save Nigeria as a whole. Um, I would have unfriended you now because of this, I swear. Namdekano is a problem on its own. Let's learn to do things at the right time and in a respectful and a peaceful manner and in a learned way. Um, but the actress, um, Chiamaka, wouldn't back down as she further redeclared her confession. He said, nobody should ever go against the man again, I beg you. I am going to lose a lot of friends because of this man. I swear and I mean it, she wrote that still on her Instagram page. But then, the Nollywood actress Chiamaka, uh, let's talk about even this Nollywood actress Chiamaka. She hails from Ohuru and Abia State, Southeast Nigeria. And she studied accounting at the National Open University. So he said, nothing can change her undying love for MNK. Now, no, but let me add a comment. I believe leaders can make mistakes too. The lady still confesses her undying love for the respected leader, but the other lady advises that care should be taken in making certain comments, especially on a time like this, um, that uh, there is violence. It's capable of frailing the crisis. Now, our next story will be in Pidgin English. <laughs> uh, U.S. Special Forces don't come save their person. Waste on small talks for Nigeria. Kidnap. 
Yes, you are soldiers. We get a one get train and enter our Niger. Uh, like commando, they do in tin. <laughs> I don't know whether even our government know when they enter. <laughs> what did they come to save? Them come to save American person with some small northern talks kidnap. <laughs> northern um, Yambanga. Is here. Eh, like with the talk, um, this thing happened for northern Niger. As with the talk, American citizen, the American citizen were then kidnapped, don't return for in Papa land. That one not to say, this U.S. Obonge army succeed well for this their commando operation. In fact, they no lose any person for the operation. But then kill six people among the kidnappers. But you get what in the young art, then say those talks, small local army will kidnap their person self. No get connection with all these Boko Haram or all these ISIS terrorists way they, they don't they enter Africa small small. They say they just na hungry people. Hey, but they be, uh, as if you say na hungry people, when I for touch them small chop money self. As on a be as if you say when I don't rescue na people. Well, kudos to this American Navy SEAL team. We just they six people oh, now then do this operation. Now when Nigeria army go mature like this self, hope no be until Jesus come. Oh. <laughs> Then go marshal like this. <laughs> Trump say na America first and name him fulfill. I bet gonna see this thing. I want no on our opinion for this matter. But he get one talk we follow this matter. Reno Omokri blasts President Buhari. You know why? Because of still this matter. He said the former presidential head, Reno Omokri, <laughs> he slam our president Buhari. Hey. After U.S. Army rescue um, soldiers where they inside captivity, they said the soldiers was captured by um, the, one of the Americans. was captured by armed militia in Niger and held captive in not part of Nigeria. The rescue mission was undertaken by elite commandos as part of um, major efforts to free the U.S. citizen Philip Walton, 27, um, before his capturers could get far after capturing him in Nigeria on October 26. So, oh, Reno Mokri tweeted, Dear General at Muhammad Buhari, This is what a real leader does with his nation's armed forces. Not just like you, that send soldiers of the, um, at Defense Headquarters in Nigeria, not on rescue mission, but on killer missions against an armed peaceful ANSAS protesters. Remember the Lake, hashtag Lakey Massacre. <laughs> except you repent. Hmm. Except you repent. May you not end in a bad way. Hmm. The thing that don't enter in a monkey broad. <laughs> Nobody go watch us then take massacre youths. Simply because they are protesting they want a better life and you no go talk. If you be in a monkey, no go verse. Our youth were massacred and mass. And we had um, their bodies were taken away to remove traces. So the ones we saw are even uh, few. Look at what American president did. The moment they had their uh, person has been kidnapped by this uh, local militia, quickly they sent a rescue team. And before you know it, he, he was rescued. Promptly, they followed the life of one single person. Is that the case in Nigeria? Is that the case? How do we react when we hear that our citizens are trapped somewhere or are held hostage? How do we react? When are we going to be acting like Americans? Uh, if, when, uh, when our people have problem outside, when are we going to act like these Americans that quickly they go into it because they value their citizen? When are we going to start acting like that? According to um, Reno Mokri, instead of doing acting like the American president, they, they rather send our soldiers, the youth them, to take the lives of our youths. Who are protesting for a better life? Who are protesting because you leaders made things worse for us? Yes. You leaders did not handle things well. 
you know, recently I, I'm, I'm even sad. I'm even sad. I had, um, I was listening to um, Lion, Lion Mohammed. He was saying, uh, the social media bill, oh, the social media bill. The, we, we need to have a key to the social media. We, the, we, it should be in our hands. We have the, we have the power to always put it off air, put it on air. You know, the power to lock it out, uh, put it out of the space and put it back. Is social media the cause of our problem? You APC people campaign, you came in, social media helped boost your campaign. Even though I don't believe that you won't say, but at least it helped you. You came in, now you are targeting social media. Is social media the problem? Social media is not a problem. The problem is you incited hatred. Buhari's government is lopsided. Buhari's government is nepotistic. You focus, you give, you, you marginalize a particular people because of uh, maybe they vote or they, they did not vote for you. You marginalize them. You are not um, giving um, appointments, employment based on merit. You, you have a set of people um, around you that you give jobs. You marginalize. Okay, look at the railways, for example. When you started um, building railways, a, a section of the country was removed. They are not part of the rail line project. And you want them to be happy. Now, when they agitate, when they say, oh, we are unfairly treated, we want to leave, you still send soldiers after them. And now you are blaming social media. Social media is not the problem. You people are the problem. You APC government, you have to change. You have to change the mindset. And for you, not us, Nigeria has to be restructured. If you want things to go well, Nigeria has to be restructured. Let no one stop blaming social media. And viewers, please subscribe to our channel. Also click on the bell icon to get more of our updates. And this is where I'll call it a day for on this show. Bye for now.